Hi, my name is Chris McRae, and I am recording this from the upstate of South Carolina. Um, however, I'm going to be discussing the uh, laws and regulations about licensure in North Carolina because that's where I'm going to be seeking my license uh, for counseling. Um, so, North Carolina uh, requires that uh, applicants um, have received uh, their training from a Cake Prep accredited institution and a regionally accredited institution. Um, so that's for persons who uh, completed their uh, training after uh, June 30 of 2013. Um, also, they require either 60 semester hours or 90 quarter hours of education. Um, so the, the nine areas that they require in coursework are the areas covered in Cake Prep. So that's helping relationships and counseling, uh, the counseling practicum and internship. Um, and they require 300 hours of graduate counseling experience. Um, 180 hours of that uh, need to be uh, direct counseling experience um, with a ratio of uh, one hour for every one hour of supervision for every 40 hours. Uh, they also require professional orientation to counseling, uh, training in human growth and development, training in social and cultural foundations in counseling, group counseling theories and processes, uh, career counseling and lifestyle development, um, assessment and counseling, and research and evaluation. Um, so the way that uh, North Carolina structures uh, their license, uh, they have a tiered system. Um, so this is really interesting to me um, because when you graduate from a counseling program, you still need postgraduate counseling experience, uh, but you still need a license. Uh, so they have, uh, for that category, it's called a Licensed Professional Counseling Associate or LPCA. Um, so that person has to have completed their graduate training, um, but also they have to have uh, taken um, two exams. One's a jurisprudence exam, and another one is uh, a, a national exam, and they have three different ones that um, they'll consider for a uh, LPCA. Um, so that's the National Counselor Examination, or the NCE, the National Clinical Mental Health Counselor Exam, which is probably what I'll take, uh, which is the NCMHCE, or the Certified Rehabilitation Counselor Examination, also called the CRC. Um, so when you're transitioning from LPCA to LPC, um, there are there are requirements, uh, and those requirements uh, pass your graduate training experience, the 300 hours they require in practicum and internship. They require that you have 3,000 hours of supervised professional practice. 2,000 of that 3,000 hours have to be from direct counseling, um, and each uh, each counselor must have at least 100 hours of clinical supervision with a minimum of one hour for every 40 hours of professional practice. Uh, so this supervision has to be face-to-face. -face. It can be done remotely uh, via Skype or GoToMeeting or something like that, but it has to be done synchronously, uh, meaning there has to be an interaction um, and in a live time. Uh, also, three quarters of those hours have to be individual. Um, so people can go and get group supervision. Uh, the state only allows for uh, supervisors supervising groups um, to supervise groups as large as 12 people. Um, but like I said, th three quarters of the supervision time has to be um, with uh, uh, or, or individual. Um, licenses are tiered, like I said. Um, so you have the LPCA, the LPC, and the LPCS, which is the, the Licensed Professional Counselor Supervisor. And in order to get that license, um, you have to have your LPC, um, and you have had to have specific training and supervision. So that can be done through a regionally created, accredited institution of higher education, like Liberty, uh, where you take at least a three credit hour course in counseling supervision, or through continuing ed. Um, but that continuing it has to be approved by the state and you have to provide a, a certificate. Um, other requirements are uh, 
uh, when you are putting in an application, it has to be validated by a notary. Uh, you have, do have to submit a criminal background check. Um, also, when you're transitioning from LPCA to LPC, you have to provide three professional references, um, and they have to be able to speak to your ability to be a counselor. Uh, so that can come from supervisors or, or colleagues in your clinical setting. Um, and uh, your supervisors um, have to provide their final report uh, to the board. Um, and if you had multiple supervisors, um, for instance, if, if you had uh, a, a supervisor that was working with you one-on-one -on -one and you were going uh, to group supervision, each of those uh, supervisors have to um, have to provide uh, those reports. Um, I guess what I find most challenging in this um, is uh, I had assumed that once I graduated, um, I could immediately start uh, working uh, as an LPCA. Um, I, I plan to work for the VA, um, but I realized that before I do that, I have to pass the national exam and the jurisprudence exam. Um, so uh, figure out how to how to uh, study for that and, and get ready for that exam. Um, and allow the wait time for, for that exam to be graded and, and for the license to be approved before I can start working um, will be a challenge. Uh, so good to see so many of your faces on the forum. Uh, really happy to put faces with names. I've enjoyed interacting with each of you in the discussion boards and look forward to our continued journey together.